Hey folks, this is Gazwan Kari over at SharePointQuester.com. Today we'll be executing a PowerShell script that will list all web parts in a site collection. The script will loop through all pages in a site collection, whether it's a publishing site or an unpublishing site. So we'll loop through the pages library as well as the site pages library. All the information we gather will be we'll see it right on the script we'll see it processing and then we can uh, we'll get the option to display it in a grid view as well here's the script that I'm gonna run uh, make sure that the line before last you change the uh, URL obviously to your site collection I'm gonna copy everything starting from function towards the end of the function if you copy and paste this into your PowerShell snap in you get a Windows integration feature not installed make sure that you uh, import the module server manager and add Windows feature PowerShell uh, ISE uh, and that's gonna be found on the blog post as well so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna copy all this and uh, paste it into PowerShell the site I'm going against is a publishing site by default I've got a number of these web parts in here actually nothing is is displayed in here if I go back so we're under marketing so if I go up to SharePoint Quester you're gonna notice that under SharePoint Quester I have got a user tasks a workflows I just added a whole bunch of work web parts here task documents content editor and by default when I created a publishing site I got three subsites or two subsites within and these have some basic web parts as well so let's launch management shell and let's paste our script and you're gonna find it looping through the content now and it's gonna process the sites one at a time it completed processing SharePoint Quester, marketing, press releases, search and then I'll get the option to display this information in a grid here's a grid that shows me the web URL page URL, display title this is the web part is it visible and the type. This concludes this video. Thanks for listening in.